Welcome home, that son. That woman has. What? The audacity that that woman had. What woman? Oh. How was your, uh... Yeah, how was your day? It was good. Good, I'm glad you had fun. Max ran into a Karen today. She thought she was all that because she's a mom. And I was like... Why do you have a garbage bag full of stuff? Clothes. Your clothes? Yeah. What is up, guys? It is day number... What? The, what's the date today? 16th? Yeah. Day 16th. 31 day days 16th. of horror. Day 16th. Day 16th of 31 days of horror. We have not decided what we're going to watch today, have we, Max? But uh, we will decide that here shortly. But Max went to the pumpkin patch again this week, and he ran into a Karen, and he's going to tell us a story. All right, if you want to hear the story about the Karen, it was pretty long, so it'll be on a separate video. But uh, we're going to try to find a movie, and then we'll let you know what we're watching. What are you saying? I said you sounded like Justin from 13 Reasons Why. Which one's Jessica's, Justin? Um, Jessica's boyfriend. Which one's boyfriend? Jessica? Hands front, the black one there. I should say that one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The one that shoots himself. That's Alex. Dude, um, I haven't watched that show in a That's long time. That's her ex boyfriend who turned out to be gay. But anyway, um, okay. <laughs> um, so basically, there's one scene in 13 Reasons Why where um, I think it's Justin. It might be out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Because Jessica started dating Alex. So Justin. Basically walks in the movie theater, and he sees Jessica and Alex basically just talking, and so Jessica like works there at the movie mm -hmm. theater, and so so basically they're they're like oh like what movie are you seeing like because they're curious like why he's there and and he, and he says oh um it's you might not know it's called the unknown and they're just like well what's it about and and he's like yeah you see that's it it's unknown. So the reason why Max is saying that is because I told him I want to watch The Unborn and that I think it's about somebody that's unborn. That's why, that's, that's why he said that. It gives the same energy. You're going to try to find the scene? Yeah. All right, see, I want to... I got my eyes on it, man. I saw this movie at the movie theater, 2009, with uh, my youngest daughter's mom. And uh, I haven't seen it since. So I want to watch it again. Are you gonna like, gonna find it today and stuff or tomorrow? I can't. I'm looking. I just gotta find it. Well, while you do that, all I'm seeing is spoilers for Thirty Reasons Why. If you haven't seen it, all I'm seeing is Justin's death scene. And all right, let's watch the trailer. trailer. It's not the trailer. But... I mean, not the trailer because I was gonna watch the trailer of The Unborn. Yeah. But uh, let's watch this scene that reminds you you of me. Keep your voice down. Okay. Well, I can't just bail you out every time you think he's being creepy. Just trying to have an actual summer. I know. Oh, that's when they're dating? I'm yeah. sorry. Fine. I'll take him. Again. Thank you. We could, you know, watch him together. I could just hang here. Um, I have to work. Yeah, I know. I know. I just, I'm... Just miss you. Alex, I... What? They're like exes. My guess they like just broke up. So they're going to walk into the movies right now? The other couple? No, just just Justin. Um, Is that just... Oh, him? Yeah. Oh, he's the photographer guy? No. I forget who's who. Just what? I'm sure he's just seeing a movie. Hey, Alex, what's up? Mm. Just seeing a movie. What movie? It's, it's called The Unknown World. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's it about? It's... It's unknown, so. <laughs> Fuck this. Come on, Tyler. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. That was pretty clever. <laughs> it's funny. That's one of my favorite scenes in the whole show. You know, let's watch this trailer. I guarantee this trailer of the movie called Unborn is about someone that's unborn. <laughs> she wants to be born now. Whoa. Hey, that's the guy from Dexter. Hey, Eric. I don't want. Am I touching this? you? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to. 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 Oh, I 
Oh. She had a twin? It's kind of like um, Malignant. I haven't seen this movie in so long. Spoiler for people who haven't seen Malignant. Yeah, sorry, spoiler. I haven't seen this in so long, I don't remember it. When's this from? 2009. I think she was pregnant with Alicia. Giving very much. Um, the aesthetic is Jennifer's body. The theme reminds me of Look Away. What's happening to me is real. I'm so old, I don't even remember those movies. Attempted exorcism to Casey Baldwin. You sure you can through this? Just want this to be over. Yeah. Huh? You're not interested? Oh, it's so bad. Max is not interested. I think it looks good. Oh, this kind of the reminds unborn. me of um, Look Away, which I literally just wanted. But I don't want to watch that right now. But if you haven't watched it, it came out in 2018. Super good. I really like it. So I guess we're not watching no. uh, this one again. No, that's this one. I'm sad now. All right, we're watching Oculus Taylor. Let me get a new one. It's I want a house like that. Don't you think? And a mirror like that. Hey, Dad, who's that lady in your office today? What lady? We were just kids. Ooh. We made up a scary story so we wouldn't have to accept the fact that our father was a sick man and killed our mom. Uh -huh. Why don't we just end it right now and smash the damn thing? First, I intend to prove that the people I've just described were victims of the supernatural force that resides in that mirror. You want to redeem the family name? You promised me you'd never forget what really happened. I was 10 years old. Daddy? Tim, Tim. Snap out of it. Are they looking at themselves? Oh, you know what that kind of is? Uh, they're, they're, they're just kind of like Where they eat glass? No. Where, um, it's like, it's like when you forget about, it's like when you replace something with something else. So it's like a lot of people, it's like they're brushing their teeth, but then they see the to their teeth on oh, the yeah. counter, and it's actually a razor. That really happens? So what do you think, Oculus? Is there between Oculus or Hellraiser? Both look really good. You make the decision. Hellraiser today, Oculus tomorrow. All right, there you go. Really We're going to watch the 1980s classic. Hellraiser for tonight. Max has never seen it. Yes, we've decided we're gonna watch Hellraiser. It's 10.30 p.m. We're pretty close to it. Sorry, 10.17 to be exact. Come on. Hellraiser. I have not seen this movie in a long time. But I like the Hellraiser series. Not as, mu not as much as the Friday the 13th series. Not as much as... Uh, here, I got the whole series right here, Friday the 13th. Not as much as the Nightmare on Elm Street series. But... Still a pretty good series. Max, it's him. It's really him. Just help me, will you? 
Please, God, help me. I don't know why. Yes. Because you keep getting up and we have to press pause. This movie This movie's gonna take three months to finish. Oh, no tears, please. It's a waste of good suffering. She's gonna turn in the other guy. It's a woman. The one with the throat slow uh slit throat. I don't think so. I don't know. It sounds as if he's more than the whole. What you think of a uh, Hellraiser Max on a scale of one to ten? Four. A four? Yeah. Not too impressed with it. It's like I said, it's not my favorite of all the series, like the the 80s classics, Friday the 13th, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's not good. Hellraiser's the least favorite. It's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah. Like, I don't know. There were a lot of scenes, I get it, it's the 80s and special effects back then were kind of this, but... And then there were just some scenes that were, like, confusing. Like, the whole hospital scene, like, the way the doctor was acting seemed more like she was... They, see, they thought she was mentally unstable. Yeah. Like, and it looked like a mental hospital. And there were just the, the whole demon angel concept. Or, like, they're demons, but they're also angels or whatever. Yeah. That's weird. The ending was a bit weird. And the fact that the thing that scared me the most in the movie was when a door closed rather than the whole movie. And yeah. there's some scenes that were pretty funny. Yes. That like the scene where they where um Kirsty or whatever her name is and her boyfriend were like fighting the monster at the end. Yeah. <laughs> and then the monster punched him in the face. Like that that was funny. And like there's just <laughs> Anyway, it's an eighties movie. But there you go, Hellraiser. We shall see you tomorrow. <laughs>